kind of overshot that, buddy. So what's up, guys? This is Moto Vlog 15, and we are just going for a little ride after work. Uh, one thing I did want to say is, if you're new to the channel, just seeing me for the first time, uh, what our ch what this channel is is uh, I do moto vlogs, I do part installs, part reviews, equipment reviews, uh, anything to do with motorcycles, anything to do with Harley Davidson. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And yes, we're on our first ride with Lucky Dave's bars, and man, it it's insane how just two inches wider. Yeah, two inches, an inch on each side, then my other bars, and obviously some more pullback, changes the feel. Um, I'm a huge fan of finding the right handlebar for you and the bike and what you're trying to do. Because uh, just like motorcycles, handlebars are kind of, you know, if, if you're riding wheelies, if you're doing burnouts, if you're doing other stuff obviously you want a different bar than if you're just banging down the highway busting out some miles so highly recommend if if you guys haven't changed handlebars start looking around thinking about that that's one of the best upgrades you'll do to a motorcycle I know engine braking is bad, but <laughs> I was coming up hot on this dude. So yeah, the, the setup consists of the Lucky Dave's riser bar, uh, the Bung King internally wired option risers. I have no idea whatsoever if you buy these bar or the risers, why you wouldn't click the internally wired option to, to clean these up now. I do have uh, the dual gauge set up, so, and I've been working with Gorilla Cables on, on getting rid of this connector here, so, so hopefully soon we'll have a solution for that, but, yeah, that's it, um, Lucky Days Riser Bars, Bunk King 8 inch risers, uh, comes to 11.5 total height, um, so basically, I went from a 12 inch bar to 11 and a half inch bar. And I went from a 26 inch wide bar to a 28 inch wide bar. So it's not that much different than the setup before. But it feels night and day and I, I believe it's going to be the pullback. Uh, the pullback and... Sorry, running my mouth and dragging me doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work together well. So... But yeah, I think I believe it's the pullback and uh, and maybe the riser, the width is is making this thing feel so much different. But uh, at the same time, I, I finally did get my mailboxes. Ooh. Yeah, I finally did get my uh, two finger Elite Moto Tech lever, and man, it's night great difference from that one finger um i can still grab the bar with most of my hand with the three main fingers and yeah it's it's dead nuts on when they say two finger it's a two finger for sure so huge shout out to elite moto tech for that uh shout out again for gorilla cables for all the extensions on the bars If this camera mounts off a little bit, uh, I use a different mount. It's a little janky, so <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out. But but yeah, man, I'm loving it so far. Um, I ordered the wrong size uh, braided wire loom. I was going to do the braided wire loom, but it turned out all right. It it dropped the gauges down a bunch. Uh, you'll probably be able to to see that on the video you'll probably see more of the road this time which is good you know i was i was thinking about my youtube channel a little bit with my bar selection so that's always a good thing i do need to 
SS cable, or I might just leave it. I don't know. Some people like these loose. I like mine on the tighter side, but I may have to go back. But clutch cable's dead on this time. Ooh, she's a hot rod. I don't know if this makes sense or not. Um, maybe the powder coat was thicker on those other T-bars, but the the bars actually feel smaller diameter, which I know they're not. They're one-inch control stuff, but I don't know. Maybe a combination of powder coat and being smaller and these badass Rebel Reaper gloves that I picked up. Huge shout-out to him, man. He's a hard-working entrepreneur that is uh, doing awesome things, garments, clothes, riding gear. Uh, check him out on Instagram, Rebel Reaper Clothing Company. All right, let's settle down, John. <laughs> yeah, another thing I wanted to talk about was I bought a new Motovlog helmet and I did a bunch of reviews on it uh, and I went with the Icon Air Mata uh, just because the simple fact that it's a it's it's on the cheaper end uh, of helmets it's right at 180 and yeah so we're gonna deck that thing out with uh, all the same stuff that's in this helmet and see if we can get our audio uh, just as good in that helmet as this helmet um, this helmet actually has a bunch of all the vents are blocked off Every single one of them are blocked off in here, and I think this this summer it's going to get a bit annoying. So the Air Mata has has a bunch of vents, you can close, and all that kind of good stuff. So so yeah, we're gonna new Motovlog helmet setup. We're gonna do a video on that. Um, gonna give you the basics. Gonna give you the rundown. Gonna show you my setup. Um, we're banging down the interstate here. At, at 80 miles an hour and I've had a lot of people ask me about audio stuff and, and all my stuff's GoPro so uh, we'll give you some we'll give you some pointers and, and what to get and what to use and that kind of stuff uh, setting up a motorbike helmet I mean, it's kind of a little video I've been wanting to do for a while so we'll, we'll get the chance it's, it's gonna be after this video will be the next one so but yeah I think that concludes this video um, get past this semi if I can if the jeep will move but yeah this is going to conclude this video thanks for watching guys thanks for the support uh, hit me up on Instagram like comment subscribe to my channel uh, thank you guys again take it easy see you on the next one